Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and today, this video is about, just like a little story time, and story time, story time is, uh, YouTubers without, not YouTubers, they play robots, but YouTubers like, the official Lonnie, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but, official Lonnie something, I don't know, yeah, and this, Story time is about when the creepy van followed me and my family home. Okay, so okay, let's start story story time. So me and my family, we was heading out the Walmart, right? We was heading out the Walmart. I was, I was heading out to Walmart with my mom, dad, brother, and my family like that. Okay. And then we noticed this white, this white van started following us. So at first we thought that the van was just going the same way we were. So, but until, but the, but we was just, but we figured out we, he, he or she, who was in the van was following us because by that time he was at Walmart, he was still following us. But the throw was off a little bit. The van just like pulled over at the at a gas station to make it seem like he or she wasn't following us. So my mom and dad told me told me to look, make sure, and they told me to, to be lookout so just in case the van came back, I should tell them for that should know and they could call the cops. Okay, so a few minutes later, after we did all of our shopping for the uh, Walmart, we see this thing falling behind us one minute later. And I get really scared because, like, second time. Okay? So then I told my mom and dad that I saw the van following us, but again, so they started calling the cops, but. He didn't answer for some reason, and that's when I got really scared because knowing that we can't, we can't get help because they're not answering. So they just made me really scared. So I, I was just like, they must be handling too many emergencies to handle, to handle this one then. And then since no one was helping, no one could help us, we just drove home and we just had to hide. I was hiding in my closet. Okay. And then my dad, he volunteered to like just check out the um, check out the front door, and the van was pulled in our driveway. It was pulled in our driveway, and that's when he told me he. And then when my dad came upstairs and told us that, I got really scared because I didn't know if he was gonna break the door, the door down or anything. And I just thought I was gonna get kidnapped, or I thought I was gonna get killed, and I just. And I just got really scared, and I just started crying because I thought when that moment happened, I thought that was gonna be the end of my life. And I just started crying because I I was so scared because I thought this was gonna be the end of the family, and my heart just started racing, and I was just so scared. I was just so sad at that moment until. Until, um, okay, then, for once, after my dad and mom tried calling the police, like, three times, they finally pick up. And my mom was released. So, he or she had a mask on, so we couldn't tell if it was a he or a she. So, he came out and went and came to our front door. Knocking really hard, and my dad whispered to all of us and said, "Don't answer the front door," cause he said it was him because he saw. So I just got really scared because, like I said, I thought that was gonna be the end of my life. And then my dad said, "My dad said that he had like a pistol in his hand." And that's when I just really started crying. He was like, it was like a whole storm how much I was crying. I was just like, 
he's just the end of my life. He has a gun. He's gonna kill us all. And I just got really scared. And I just thought it. I wasn't thinking of the positive like I usually do. Because he has a gun. I mean, what am I supposed to do? And during that time, I was just really scared. Okay. Then a few minutes later, after he was done, nobody would come to the door after after him doing all of that knocking. My mom finally, he kept on knocking, knocking, but then nobody came. So he just tried, he could, He came to the window, he grabbed a ladder from our backyard, and he grabbed, yeah, and, and he put it up to the window to get to the second floor. And then, um, he tried to break the window open to get in the house, and that's when I really started crying because he made like a little hole, and I thought, well, he make a little hole, you can make it bigger by breaking it. So I got scared. Okay. Two minutes later, he did get in the house. He or she did get in the house. So I kept, I heard big footsteps, and me, my whole entire, our family was smushed up into my closet because we had nowhere else to hide, like, no lie. Out of, out of all the places, we had nowhere else to hide because he would probably be scared. Because most YouTube videos I see, the kidnapper doesn't look scared. Okay. Okay, and then... Yes, like I said, he did get in. So after I started hearing footsteps, he just like, he searched like all the rooms except for the closet. You know, there was, and I started thinking about the positive. Because after I was started thinking about the positive, that's when the police called back. And there was, I thought there was a blessing because after I started thinking of the positive, that's when they called back. And that's a God's blessing right there. Okay. And then, you no, know, and then my dad and mom, they was just like, they was just like screaming kind of and whispering at the same time for the killer. Couldn't hear, hear, hear them. And they was just like freaking out and panicking. Like, it's a killer in our house, stealing the food and trying to steal the furniture. I mean, what? Okay. So we wasn't worried about the furniture because we could get more stuff. Because I would rather him steal the furniture instead of killing us. Wouldn't you guys? I'm pretty sure you would too. Okay. Then five minutes later, after my mom got done talking on the phone with the cops and stuff, they finally, and yes, they told them the address and all of that, and so they finally arrived, but by the time they got here, by the time they got here, the killer was gone. So I was just started freaking out because that killer is on the loose now. But then um, an hour later, I watched the news and it said that he was captured for three years. Because he said he was, because he, then an hour later, I saw the news that he was captured for uh, three years because it was not his first time trying to kill. Because he already had a jail record for going to jail for 10 years because he raped a toddler not too long ago. And then that toddler died. And this was a really hard story to tell. And it was hard to remember. So if you heard me saying, um, that's why. Because I'm like about like 12 slash 13. I'm like the age 12 to 14. And this happened when I was like 9 years old. So it's been a while. So I said it. But when I was at a younger age, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I never thought about doing a story time. So I'm doing it now. And yeah, that's the end of my um story. Yes, he was captured for three years. 
but he's unfortunately he's still near me and now he knows where I live so we're thinking about moving and all of that we haven't moved yet though even since I was nine we're still living in the same house but when I was like nine we were thinking about moving because I was too scared to stay here because he knew where I live and stuff but yeah that's the end of my video i hope you in the end of my story time if you think i should do um another story time on playing roblox make sure you um tell me make sure you subscribe bye make sure you get this to five likes if i should do another story time bye